everybody what's popping i'm back tonight with another banger All right, we got clear your vibes. That's what I'm doing right now. Just opened up my little window. Just cleared my space with some Palo Santo. You feel me? Make sure y'all hit that like button when you come in. I hope everybody had a beautiful day. your vibes take a spiritual bath at this time clean your house clear your house your car all right let's get into these messages yeah so spiritual bath cook a good meal Cook a good meal. Make your perfect meal. Make your favorite meal for your man, husband, your kids. I swear this keep coming out. Throw that ass in a circle. I was trying to pass that one up. <laughs> Throw that ass in a circle. <laughs> Somebody a spiritual baddie. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Somebody out there a fine boss. He a fine boss. He a real one. He a hundred. He be keeping it a hundred. He keeps it a thousand. This for somebody. <clears throat> dance to make her dance. I'm getting stripper dance energy right now. What's the T? What's the T? Somebody can't stand your level of su success. Somebody out here fake. They a people pleaser. She belongs to the streets. That's the end of that message. This person is the best person to be around. Here's the affirmation. I am in the flow of money. So yes, we want to attract that money energy. Be in the flow of money. Coming in November. 2024. Between 
Thanks for joining me this evening, everybody. I appreciate all the love. Yep, so around November, September. Make sure you don't chase nothing. Make sure you attract it. Don't chase, attract. Yep, next month, November. This could be for somebody born between 2000 and 2010. Somebody could be born 2011 to 2019, or this could be something um, that's going to happen next week. For somebody 2011-2019. This could be a young person about to become the first billionaire in their family. Yep, answer the call. Your ancestors. The Heavenly Father, your spirit guides, your angels, and your ascended masters at this time. Answer the call. This is for somebody. Yep, it's good juju out here right now. It's some good vibes. Yes, it's some good vibes tonight. Yes, some high vibes. But be careful though, because karma is right around the corner. It can be positive or negative. Always make sure you out here doing the right thing so you can be on that good side of karma. Somebody got a big beef cake. <laughs> Somebody out here take no shit, period. They always got a resting bitch face and they got a fat ass booty. <laughs> Y'all got to be careful because the Illuminati and them secret societies, they be watching. They don't want to see you make it. But you are divinely guided. You just surrounded by your spiritual team, your ancestors, your angels, the Holy Spirit. And make sure you pay attention to your angel numbers. All right, let's get to some angel numbers. I'm good. How you doing, Rosalia? How you doing, everybody? It's good to see everybody in the building. 
Let's bless the cards first now. Let me bless the cards first. Dear Heavenly Father, our angels, ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that all my readings with these cards be accurate and specific and bring blessings to everyone involved. Please keep me centered in my higher self so I may clearly hear, see, feel, and know divine messages that wish to come through this reading at this time. I say, clear. got all right we got 15 15 it says this is the big break so somebody about to get a big break earlier i was seeing um young people it can be young people out here but somebody about to get a big break and become the first billionaire in their family it's, it's hella focused though. You gotta be creative and you gotta move forward. Pay attention to your skills and your goals. You got progress right now. It says an opportunity, help, extra cash, or other support is coming your way. So keep going. You have fun when you're performing your task. It says the most tremendous success comes from the passion. So put all your efforts and it will be rewarded big time at this time. We got 888. Karma. Karma. <laughs> it's just confirmation. Make sure you're on the right side of karma at this time. It says make sure you're balanced. Balanced in your finances, success, wealth, your cycles. Clear out or balance your cycles at this time. So if you keep going through the same thing, you need to make a change. It said what goes around comes around. Karma is around the corner. It says a lot of money is coming your way, period. It says fortune refers to more than just monetary material success. It says if you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. That's right. All right. We got luck on our side. We got that good vibes, good juju, high vibes. We got 777. <clears throat> All right. It says contentment, prosperity, abundance. This is a spiritual awakening, divine intervention. So the ancestors, your angels, the Holy Spirit, your spirit team, your spirit guides are around you. And they're trying to make sure that you're on point. So just know that you're you're guided. And sometimes they're going to have to take action if you're not moving to where you need to be moving to it says this message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty it says you'll come out winning from everything that may come your way it says it's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share it says you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to others that's right so that's why i'm here baby your girl is in the building my name is angela angela tolliver with a billion dreams TV. All right, let's get a couple more. Oh, bottom of the deck, 7777. It's perseverance. We moving and we pushing forward. We pushing through. Yes, there may be a need for change of perspective. You need to change your outlook on something or whatever has taken over you now. If you want to succeed, you need to keep going down the road you're on. Stay focused on the road you're on for somebody. And then you'll just know the right steps to take. So just be patient and keep moving forward. Stay on the path you're on. We got 1221 taking initiative so you need to take initiative in everything you do be optimistic have communication you get messages at this time 
good news, high vibes, expression. It says work with what you have and you will get places. Count your blessings and acknowledge your dear ones. You will find inspiration and figure out a way forward. It says you might also be getting some good news soon. That's right. All right, we got 0330, lucky shirt. Somebody might got a lucky shirt. I know I got some outfits that are, that's my favorite. I wear a lot. I got to hide them sometimes because otherwise I'll wear them too much. But yes, love, peace, hope, and optimism. Transferring responsibility to others. Progress, creativity. So if you're a boss, this is for people who's in the in the in the position to help transfer some of their responsibility on to others so you can get the job done. It says pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and other people you hold dear. It says your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a board spectrum of individuals. So somebody could be on a board or going to start a board. <clears throat> Let me get one more Holy Spirit. And I've seen that 1818 too. All right, we got 1818. You got to have willpower. All right. You got to strive for it. This is for the go getters, okay? The ones who got courage. They um they're they got luck. They're moving forward. It says, wow, significant events are on the cards for you. It says you will progress in your endeavors and gain new experiences. The right people and resources will be put on your path. It says an excellent proposal or change is coming up. You're destined for greatness. That's right, you got 1818. Okay. Yes, I love that good energy. Okay, let's, what's going on with our emotions at this time? This is a general reading. So if it resonates with you, make sure you show love. If it resonates with you, let me know. Don't try to make it fit. If you need a personal reading, hit me up. If you need a personal reading, hit my email. Angela Tolliver 333 at Gmail. Or you can hit me in my DMs. <clears throat> I need to shuffle these really good. Let me... <clears throat> I can't get my whole office in the in the background. It's so cute. I've been going nuts up in here. All right, let me get a couple messages. Holy Spirit for the collective. Let's get an overall message for the collective. What they need to know at this time. What are we feeling emotionally? What are our emotions? What are our emotions? Ooh. <clears throat> what are our emotions at this time? This is for the collective. What are our emotions at this time? Getting a lot of love energy. All right. Okay, a little bit more. <laughs> Couple more. Let me get a couple more. All 
right, all right. It's a lot of energy in this building. Hold up. Okay. All right, y'all give me a second so I can read the cards and find out where this is going to. Okay. All right, we got the twin flames in the building. Divine masculine trying to sweet talk divine feminine at this time. Somebody could be tracking somebody through their GPS. Uh oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong card, y'all. Hold up. All right, it dropped. Yeah, somebody could be checking somebody's GPS at this time. <laughs> somebody could be putting a tracking device on you, or they could be GPSing you at this time. Or they could just be GPSing you looking for your address to link. Somebody got memories about you, divine, fem divine feminine. We got divine masculine and looking at your pictures. A lot going on y'all hold on now we got some illumination so it's some truth being told at this time yes it's some awakening to the truth and some um discovery mm -hmm. somebody following somebody and they waking up to the truth uh-huh okay so let's do this we got the twin flames put that up there like that bow bow Yeah, because uh, somebody's learning lessons. They going round and round in cycles. And they feeling triggered right now. Yeah, it's just 888. You got to cut. You got to um, balance out your cycles. Clear out them cycles. That's confirmation. Somebody out here, um, somebody's masculine. He's feeling selfish. He's stubborn. He, he arrogant, prideful, and he in his ego. He want everything his way. Mm-hmm. He could be a smoker. An older man. Learning karmic lessons at this time. We got a female learning karmic message. Lenses. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the masculine is feeling rejected. Up, oh, somebody doing a love spell. Yep, somebody doing a love spell on somebody at this time. So y'all be careful. Let me see real quick um, how far we are to the new moon. Dang, I don't um, got it on this. Oh, here we go. Hold on, y'all find out what because uh, that, that's when people do a lot of spell work during the full moon and the new moon new moon is when they're doing a lot of voodoo a lot of um love spells blockages putting curses death spells and stuff like that on you so yeah let's find out i gotta add my location hold on y'all one second we finna find out one second
Ooh, the fucking, it's so clear out there right now. Oh my God. It, my, this old phone, it ain't on here. But that's okay. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know in a minute. Okay, but we definitely getting close to the new moon. I can feel it. <clears throat> All right, so somebody scheduled for a separation. They're reflecting and they're soul searching at this time. Yep, we got the karmic out here doing a love spell. Because, um, yeah, she, she doing a love spell. She doing a love spell. Because she has not learned her karmic lessons. Yeah, and um, you see how she holding on to the masculine? She don't want to let the masculine go. He's got her blocked. And karmic is blocked at this time. He's saying goodbye. Yeah, because the karmic she's showing her true colors. She's trying to cope. She's probably an alcoholic drinker. She's drinking. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. She drunk in love. She drunk in love. <laughs> Yep, they, it's probably his um, baby mom. I see a love child out here. Yep, they could be married. Yep, because they could be going, getting a separation at this time. So this, this person could be married. They could be married. And they're separating. And this bitch study trying to do a love spell. <clears throat> but he know what the fuck is up. Yep, she's got a sex addiction. more messages holy spirit dear heavenly father ancestors i thank you for the i like to ask our grace for these country acting in specific and bring divine blessings to everyone involved please keep me searching in my heart so let me clearly hear see feel and know divine messages that we should come to this reading at this time i say clear Yeah, somebody got sins on their mind. <laughs> yep, because somebody lustful. Sex addictions. Yep, they greedy. They gonna get it any by any means necessary. And they're inconsiderate. Yeah, the masculine, he's setting boundaries at this time because um, somebody out here being disrespectful and enough is enough. You need to know when to defend yourself. Yeah, because the karmic, she feeling worry, fear, and she's in her emotions. She's feeling waves. Get a couple more messages here, Holy Spirit. All right. All right. Okay, this is for somebody. An uh, old ex is, um, he's puzzled right now. So we got a clingy old ex. 
as puzzled right now. They're confused. They're perplexed. Conflicted. And um, they need to dead this relationship. Because they're stuck in their old ways. Just for somebody, they about to glow up. There's new opportunities here, new career, and it's a successful business. That's for somebody, and it could be in the, like social media. We got intimacy here. So we got unity, closeness, and intimacy. We got somebody wants a second chance. They feeling deja vu, nostalgia, and they're in their wishful thinking right now. Yeah, because they want to be close to their feminine. <laughs> yeah, because we definitely got the twin flames out here. We got the masculine trying to sweet talk the feminine. Mm-hmm. He looking at her pictures. And he probably following her motherfucking ass, too. <laughs> Then we got optimistic, inspired success. Somebody could be hopeful at this time. Okay, let's clear this energy. Get some overall messages for collective what's going down what is going down what do we need to know at this time yep we got um separation here that's more confirmation and then we got somebody could be running and ghosting. We got the masculine running and ghosting at this time. Yeah, I got some earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. So if this resonates, this could be for somebody. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, let's get some more information for these earth signs at this time. I'm gonna do the signs real quick. So I'm gonna do the earth signs, then we'll do like water and air. So let's get some quick messages. Okay, where are we at? Let me get some quick messages, Holy Spirit. Clear. Earth signs, earth signs. Okay, it's way too many. Let's take a couple. All right, for earth signs, you need to stop pushing against what is. Align with it and move on. Stop giving away your power right now. Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. Find ways to lighten up. It says, and not take everything so serious. So if you out here, you, you're a hard worker and you never really go out, you never have fun, you take life so serious, like you don't, you don't laugh, you don't joke, you don't play. Just be a little bit more playful and stop taking everything so serious. That's for earth signs. <clears throat> All right, let's get air signs. Let's got, let's get the Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Let's get Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. 
What we need, what we need to know. I'm Team Aquarius. Whoever got on here said some more fuck shit. You get off my shit with that bullshit. <laughs> All right, let's get some more messages for Aqua, Gemini, Libra. All right. Okay, say goodbye to your past. It says, and leave the baggage behind for good. That's right. Motherfuckers need to motherfucking leave the past in the past. Real talk. This is our water energy. I mean, our um, air energy. It says, remember that it's okay to be happy. It really is. It says, life can be hard and life can be wonderful. Which will you focus on? Focus on the part of your life that can be wonderful. Let me get one more. Hold on, this one. I already had this one. Let me shuffle this one more time. The devil tried to jump up in my motherfucking live and say some fuck shit. <clears throat> All right, let's get some more messages for air signs real quick. It says, never forget how resilient you are. It says, you always bounce back, period. That's, that speaks for Aquarius, Libras, and Geminis. No matter what they go through, they always bounce back, period. All right, let's get some messages. Let's clear the deck. Let's get messages for the water signs. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Let's get the water energy. I will. I'm going to get to fire in a minute. And this is for water signs. It says, give your inner critique a vacation today. Be kind to yourself. Don't be criticizing yourself. Trust yourself. Always. Trust others once they've earned it. So it's okay to trust people. You just got to make sure they earn your trust. Listen to your body and do what it's asking of you. Okay. All right, let's get some fire signs. We got Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. All right, let's get some energy for the fire signs. Get a couple more. It says you must forgive if you want to be free. Do it yourself. So sometimes when you're going through something and you might not get an apology, you got to go ahead and forgive that situation for you and for them. That's for fire signs. Because y'all know y'all can be stubborn. <laughs> Let's see. It says stop caring about what they think. It says this is your life to live. Love and live your own life. Don't worry about what the next motherfucker think. I just had that card. I feel like I keep getting the same card. Sheet. Sheet. All right. It says clear your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. Yes. Clean up. Meditate. You need to clean up your mind and you need to clean up your surroundings. At this time for the Leos. 
for the Leos, Aries, and Sagittarius. All right, let's find out what's going on with the karmic. <laughs> let's see what's up with that biatch. See what this bitch up to. Cause she already out here doing love spells and shit. What is going on? She out here doing love spells and shit. She trying to bind the masculine. That's what a love spell is. When somebody use they could be using their flu, body bodily fluids they could be um putting stuff in their food they could be taking their items and doing rituals and stuff with their items so y'all gotta be careful man uh, it's it say trust the motherfucker but you still gotta be careful real talk hell yeah three is a crowd we got third party energy out here motherfuckers out here still doing threesomes This bitch is the saddest bitch I've ever seen. This whole stay sad. God damn. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we got the third party energy, energy out here. The karmic, she stay sad with her sad ass. The shit you doing is sad. You really gonna be sad when that shit backfire, bitch. You really gonna be sad when that shit backfire, bitch. <laughs> Yo. Bro, this shit gonna affect your kids, man. What you doing, man? That shit affects your kids. When you out here, you're putting curses on them babies. You are putting curses on your babies. Somebody got a karmic kid out here. This shit of these children, it, that, that shit, that shit affects your children. It's time to cut ties. Get out your illusions. Cut ties. Get out them illusions. Stop worrying about what was and what it could be. Move on. You got to cut ties with that toxic shit because you fucking up your kids. That's, gen that's a generational curse on your kids. Okay. So we got uh, the divine masculine. He doing shadow work at this time because <clears throat> he got some hidden emotions. You know he in love, but he hiding his emotions. So he needs to open up. He needs to do his shadow work. Cut ties with that karmic. Do your shadow work. Stop hiding your emotions. He watching the feminine. So social media. Looking at her pictures. Looking at their videos. Yeah, because he after forbidden fruit. You after forbidden fruit. The feminine, she's evolving at this time. She's rising, rising above that bullshit. She's evolving. Evolving. She in dreamland right now. <laughs> and she quick to leave a motherfucker. Period. 
Let me get a couple more messages. Let me get a couple more messages. Somebody a big old softy. <laughs> Just a big old gummy teddy bear. Yep, he is softy, but he sweet as honey. He is sweetheart. Somebody could have a sweet tooth and want some damn sugar, some gummy bears, some something sweet. He a ladies' man. Somebody's loyalty is being tested at this time. Let's get a couple more and then we're going to find out what's going on in the boom boom room. What's going on in the boom boom room? <laughs> what's going on in the boom boom room? Okay, let me get one more. <clears throat> I'm going to answer questions at the end, okay, y'all? So if you stick around, you got to stick around to the end, y'all. I got to get these overall messages out. And then towards the end, I'll start answering questions. And then um, I want to start inviting some of you guys on to do some readings live. But you got to give me a donation. Okay. All right, so we got a, a masculine. This is for somebody out here. There's a masculine that's curious, and he got wandering eyes. Yeah, he looking at uh, the karmic because she all she conceded. She into herself, and he want rec reconciliation with his feminine. Okay, let's move on and see what's going on in the boom boom room. Let's see what's going on in the boom boom room. In the boudoir. Dang, I couldn't get it. Right. thank you guys for showing so much love i really appreciate y'all all right let's see what's going on in the boom boom room mm -hmm. the um the karmic she loved for somebody to look at her <laughs> always in the mirror always want somebody to look at her okay Okay, so the um, feminine wants to taste the masculine. She says, I want to eat you up. They, she, um, let's see. The taste of you consumes my thoughts. Yep, this person likes to kiss. So the feminine, she loves to kiss and taste the masculine. Uh, 
Um, he loves how curious the feminine is. You are so mysterious and have captured my curiosity. He loves how um, he's curious about the feminine. Because she's an idealist. He's um, having trouble meeting the feminine's expectations at this time. But he says he's doing his best. Yep, because the karmic, she out here. She out here wearing a mask. She hiding her feelings. Yeah, she trying to act like ain't nothing happening. She, if she ain't feeling no type of way, but she wearing a mask. She, she knows she feeling some type of way. Let me get a couple more messages. somebody they could have a love song that's hunting the um the masculine right now this song that would probably remind them of each other and it's hunting him right now i want to please you in every way masculine wants to please the feminine in every way and he loves the feminine's creativity and individuality. And she, he's inspired by her, too. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm a little thirsty. Hold on. <clears throat> messages for the boom boom room and then I'll answer a few questions a couple more messages what's going on in the boom boom room for the collective yep so we got um the karmic, she definitely out here doing love spell because she want to bind the, the masculine. She want to tie the masculine to her. Yeah, she just want a deep bond from him. She want to be tied to him. All right. All right, so, so this is for somebody. This could be a feminine, and she's she she's the one who runs the show. The masculine want to worship the feminine. Look like he want to worship that ass. He want to hear her moan. You have seduced my mind and heart, and I'm all up in my head about you. So, masculine, he is all up in his head about this about this feminine because she is so seductive. Okay. If it resonates, it resonates. If it don't, it don't. Okay, so we got Divine Masculine.
Okay, so we got Divine Masculine. He's coming towards you, watching you on social media. Seeking clarity at this time. Because he got some fake ass friends. He says, I want to build with you in a healthy relationship, but he needs more time. But he wants to make it up to you. He want to buy you a gift. He wants to wash the feminine's body and massage her. He wants to go the way together. Few more messages. Yep. Okay, we got air energy. Okay. So we got air energy. This could be for uh, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So we got somebody that's out here codependent. They're embarrassed of how they treated you. They're sorry they hurt you. Mm -hmm. They want a threesome. Yep, because they could be bisexual. They're on the down low or they could be queer energy he like watching your sex tapes he addicted to the fam but he got trust issues but that person bring them joy and happiness they leave in the karmic they're receiving karma at this time because they could be having an STD or they need to take an STD test. Uh -oh. And they could want to get too pregnant, feminine. Oh, shit, I keep forgetting about this damn thing. <laughs> Yeah, they could be one to get you pregnant, but make sure they go get an STD check. Okay. Get a couple more. We've moved on to just air signs right now. Just an air um, message came up. Okay, do they go that fire energy? <laughs> All right, so this is for somebody. Fire sign, fire energy. It says, I love the way you touch me. This is for um, somebody who wants to watch you play with your breast.
They could be faith. They could be um, headed towards a sacred union. They think about you constantly. They want you to pleasure him with your tongue. They want to take a shower with you. This is for Divine Feminine. He like, don't leave me, baby. But he has some devil energy, vampire energy. You dealing with a karmic partner. But he loved being around you, feminine. You make my dick hard on sight. But the karmic said, I want to keep him stuck with me. But he leaving her for good. And that's the end of that message. Does anybody have any questions? Let's get to the questions. I gotta get a new pendulum. I have um, these really cute truth. I've had this deck for so long. I have not used my tr my truth fairy deck, and it answers like questions that for y'all, like yes or no questions. But my pendulum, the tip of it broke, and I just feel like it ain't gonna give me a good a good answer if it's not got that point. So I, once I get that, I'll be able to do my um, messages from the fairies. Because these are the yes, no, maybe questions. And then these. What I'm going to show y'all. So you got like the love and it tell you like whatever question you have. So it's going to tell you if it's hot, if it's cold, if it's warm, if it's forever. It's going to tell you yes, no, 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 don't know, maybe. So all over there, it's got different all around the board. So I can't wait. I got to get me a new pendulum. We got the timing. Is the time right for situations? Enlightenment. What you want to be enlightened about. Abundance. So these are your money questions. Prosperity. Abundance questions. And these are just questions about joy and happiness. Courage. Communication. If you want to locate someone. Success. Creativity. Wellness. And banishing. Do you need to banish this person? So, yeah, I cannot wait. I got to go and get me a new pendulum so we can do these messages. These are so unique, so much fun. I've never seen anybody do these. <laughs> Y'all know I got to be authentic. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't do what everybody do. You feel me? That's why my readings be lit and they be on point and they be authentic. And they're helpful. Okay. 
All right. All right, let's see what question. Is Mark attracted to me? Live will end. Okay, let me. All right, I had to verify something. I think after a certain time, they make you verify if you're still on or whatnot. <laughs> Okay, so it says, is Mark attracted to me? Let's find out. It says Yasmin. Uh, the angels are saying you might want to reconsider. It's, yeah, you might want to wait. Because it's unlikely that he might be attracted to you. It says, ask the angels. That's what we're doing. It says, you are ready. You just got to wait for the perfect timing for this. I don't know if it's for this person, but it's actually telling you to reconsider and to wait for something better. That's for um, yes. Is C is T really sick? And that's for Juicy Indigenous Queen. Ooh. Okay, so it's saying, Angel saying there should be a peaceful resolution to the situation. So if the baby is sick, there is going to be a peace. This person is sick. It'll be a peaceful resolution to the situation. Okay, that says you're ready, but I just feel like... Yeah, just remain positive. Okay. Hello, Lisa. Does anybody have any questions? I'm asking, answering questions at this time. Angel answers. You can ask whatever questions. I'm going to do the best that I can to be truthful and upfront and um, answer a question to the best of my ability. Everything is not always 100%. Only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit. Whoops. My sign is Aquarius. What's up, Chris? It says, does KD want to be with somebody else? All right, let's find out. Does KD want to be with somebody else? Angels. Clear. All right, clear out energy. Matter of fact, since the karma been all through here, let me clear this motherfucking energy. <laughs> let me clear this energy because the karma been all through all and up and through here. Let me see. It's something about that playlist that get a little annoying after a while. <laughs> Be like, hmm. Okay, I like this one. Yeah, we rocking and rolling tonight, you guys. It's your girl, Angela Tolliver, with a billion dreams. TV, you feel me? We get into these angel answers. energy real quick because the karmic been through here it's been some std energy it's been some karmic energy it's been some third party energy all through up in here so we're gonna clear it out you feel me we're gonna clear out that karmic energy you feel me because we want to have them good vibes that we had in the beginning of the reading you feel me <laughs> you feel me let's clear these vibes i clear this energy with kind and loving energy i clear my space with kind and loving energy I clear my crystals with kind of loving energy.
here too. somebody else. Oh yeah, I forgot I can push this little button right here and then I can read all the messages. Okay. Pushed it and then nothing happened. <laughs> okay. okay. I don't know what I did. Okay, sorry. I, I just I don't know what I just did. Let's get some some money. Does Scotty still love me romantically? Thanks for the music. Thanks for the compliment about the music. Okay, I'm just going back reading messages to see. Where I left off at. It's like 40 messages, y'all, and I got lost. I just fit, lost where I was at. <laughs> okay, hold on, y'all. Will I get my house soon? soon? Okay, let's find out. That's for Trees. Will I get my house soon? Make sure you guys are always thinking positive, too. You feel me? Think positive. Be in good space with yourself. Will I get my house soon? There's romance in the air. So I don't know if you got a husband or a boyfriend and y'all about to get a house together. There is romance in the air. Oh, it says yes. You will be getting that house. That's for Treese. All right, Michelle, it says, is Catherine gonna be jealous of me later about something? That's for Shelly. Is Catherine gonna be jealous of me later about something? All right, let's find out. It says, unlikely. So be positive, don't worry. That's for Shelly. Okay. Should I walk away from Mustafa again? That's for Charmaine. Charmaine wants to know, should I walk away from Mustafa again? Well, you walked away the first time. I wonder what brought you back. And if you're still going through the same cycles, you need to clear out them cycles. Move on. But let's find out. Yep. You need to go ahead, walk away. And if you need to ask help from others, go ahead and make sure you ask help from others and your angels. For real, for real. Okay, and it says, what they say about me. This is from he, he. The angels, you want to know what the angels want to say about you. Okay, hold on. And that's for he, he. All right, let's find out what the angels say about you. You, you need to use your spiritual gifts. <laughs> Yeah, you need to learn. You need to go ahead and you need to um, channel your spiritual gifts and your your talents. You need to ask Archangel Raziel to help you develop your spiritual gifts and your talents. If you're not already into your spiritual gifts and your talents. 
And it says, don't hate, meditate. It says, your angels are guiding you through meditation. You got to, yeah, you got to meditate so that you can help, you can focus your mind. You need to take a leap of faith at this time and shine your light. Okay. Will Jonathan break no contact soon? Let's find out. So somebody doing no contact right now? <laughs> And you believe they ass in no contact shit. Fuck that motherfucker. That motherfucker ain't focused on you. Don't worry about them. But we gonna find out from the angels what they want you to do. What they want you to know. Let's find out. It's for Sandy. Jonathan break no context and we really don't give a fuck but let's fire it out I'm definitely a cusser y'all so if y'all don't like cussers that y'all want to be over here <laughs> you need to be working on improving your health right now don't be worried about him improve your health get your body together get your mind your soul and your spirit together don't worry about that man because it's unlikely he gonna break no contact Right now, he's probably up in another brow face. Real talk. Yeah, we ain't worried about him. We not worried about him, Sandy. <laughs> okay, let's see. For Tanya, will I get the offer on my house this week? Okay, let's find out. this deck because this one got more direct yes and no answers. Will I get the offer on my house this week? That's for Tanya. Thank you guys so much for showing love. Y'all rocking it tonight. Yes. Okay. There's definitely an opportunity. You will get that house. All right. And Michelle. Michelle, it says, is Catherine. I remember. I answered that one already. Will I find love and get married? For Latasha, it says, will I find love and get married? All right, let's find out. Thank you, Mari, for showing love. Listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you at this time? Let's get one more. Perfect timing. Will I find love and get married? It's definitely the perfect timing. That's for Latasha. I don't know if you need to forgive yourself. Hold on, somebody's trying to join. I don't need to. I don't know if you need to forgive yourself for some or heal. You might need to be forgiving yourself. You need to heal at this time. Man, it's this song, y'all. It's such a beautiful song. I might get copyrighted for this, but I'm going to play it real quick because this is a beautiful uh, mantra. 
and it helps you release and forgive. But don't copyright me. <laughs> I don't own the rights to this music. gist of it gotta wait for that beat to drop How long will I be broke? As long as you don't get off your ass. I'm playing. <laughs> nah, I'm dead ass though. Shit, you got to get up and make it happen. You feel me? If you don't want to be broke, you got to get up and use your spiritual gifts. <laughs> Ask for help at this time. And you got to do the work. You could be in recovery. Maybe a drug addiction at this time. <clears throat> Shelly wants to know Michelle. Shelly Shell. <laughs> is Catherine going to be jealous of me? We said that earlier. That it's going to be unlikely. But you need to be thinking positive. Mia wants to know, will I meet my person soon? That's where I left off at. Okay. Meditate. Meditation brings answers. And it says within the next few weeks. So you might want to get out and about. You might meet somebody within the next few, few weeks. And then I'm going to do a close out message. 
All right. It says, Jasmine says, are they doing black magic on me? All right, let's find out, baby. Are they doing black magic on me? Probably, because we in that season of black magic and voodoo and love spells. People out here trying to bind people and do all kind of craziness. It's not that serious, y'all. You do not got to do no love spell out here. Don't force it. You want to attract your lover. You don't want to chase it. You want to, don't force it. Thank you for showing love. Let's find out if um, that person's doing voodoo. They could be in the near future. On the next new moon, full moon. Yep. Hold on, let me. One second, y'all. messages about this black magic and voodoo and hoodoo let's find out what's really going on it's the overall message for the collective oh my god you guys we at 5.2k loves thank y'all so much y'all are rocking tonight yeah My last live, I got over like 2,000 diamonds, you guys. And I can monetize now. I'm so excited. So I'm figuring it all that out right now. Trying to figure out how to make um, commercials, ads, especially to help promote my tarot business, my healing and spiritual services. And also, I have products as well. Cosmetics, candles, all kind of fun stuff. These cards are kind of stuck. That's why I want to be able to shake them up in this bag. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> it made some noise or something. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what the hell was that? <laughs> Somebody, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. He sent a TikTok universe something. Thank you, Esther. Oh. Shake up the, the bag. Right off the bat, y'all, somebody out here probably got a sex demon. You need to banish sex demons. So if you um, want to learn more about frequency music, I listen to a lot of meditational music, a lot of frequency music. Like the music I'm listening to has no words, but it's just sounds, just good, positive, vibing sounds, chill out sounds. Um, so just go on YouTube, type in banish sex demons 
and then some frequency music will pop up. You can choose whatever ones you want. If you want, they got like long ones, long version ones, short version ones. I would do it for like 21 or 30 days to get them demons off you, for real. Get them sucky bus, inky bus, Jezebel spirits up off you. Yeah, because we got people. Okay. We got an overt narcissist. We got a we got a narcissist that'll beat your ass. That'll that'll fuck you up. So y'all gotta be careful. That motherfucker is spiritually dead with a reprobate mind. Yep. They on demon time, plotting evil. They could be a witch or a warlock. It's a karmic female. Of course. They um they could be a narcissist or MPD, nar narcissistic personality disorder. They could be diagnosed with it. And they are very demonic. overall message for the collective all right y'all just gotta read these so i can figure out what, what this is energy is trying to tell me okay okay so we got the the overt narcissist and this motherfucker um is a copycat they are obsessed with you because you are major pressure. You make that person nervous. Yep, that person's a hater. It's bros over hoes. <laughs> yep, somebody out here is sex addict. And they probably, uh, uh, yep, they're a gold digger hoe. And they're only in it for the money. Okay, and, Dia, and uh, Divine Masculine says, he can't get you off my mind. He loves your booty. She has nothing on you. And I want to wake up and fall asleep next to you. Damn, did I really pull this many cards? Yep, so we got we got somebody they stuck in the matrix. And they a snake. Do not trust this person. Yep, they'll sell out. They'll do anything for the money. But don't worry. They ass is gonna go to jail or prison. They keep fucking around. This could be somebody karmic brother. He could be bisexual or he could be trans. He could be identified as a male or a female or the other way around. Somebody out here doing hexix, black magic and voodoo. But I wish a ninja would. You are protected.
Yep, there's a lot of fallen, fallen angel energy. This is a karmic masculine. He could be a bad seed, just not willing to heal. And his kids are karmics and they're cursed. Or somebody could be doing curses on your kids. So y'all gotta be careful. That's why y'all need to banish these demons, real talk. Clear out your space, clear out your energy, you dig. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging in there. We at 7.1K loves. Thank you guys so much. You guys really interacted tonight with me and was patient with me. And I really was feeling the energy. You guys had some really good questions. And I just want to tell you guys to stay up, stay strong, stay positive, stay prayed up. Make sure you cleanse your energy every day. Every time you go outside and go around people, every time you go to work, go to the grocery store, wherever you go and you come back into your home, you need to be cleansing yourself and cleanse your space for anything that it got attached to you or linger, lingered <clears throat> in your space. Real talk. All right, I'm going to get on up out of here. My name is Angela Tolliver, known as the spiritual plug, the spiritual sniper. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Holler.